This tutorial is to check if DMA is enabled on your hard drives and is brought to you by myvideoproblems.com. First of all, we will go to Start and then choose Control Panel. If the control panel view that you have isn't the same as the one shown here, then you will possibly have this one selected. You can, by clicking on Switch to Classic View, get to the uh, view I have here. We need to go into System and then choose the Hardware tab. Here, click on Device Manager and this brings up all the items in our computer. We need the IDE ATA controllers. Click on the plus sign next to it to expand the connections. And the hard drives uh, will more than likely be on the primary channel. You may have extra hard drives on the secondary channel, so you'll need to do this for both if you do. If we right click on the primary channel and choose properties, and then on the advanced settings tab we have the devices which are connected the transfer mode is what we're interested in you may have PIO only selected and if you do click on the down arrow and choose DMA if available now with the computer setup that I have um, I have the current transfer mode shown as not applicable but you should have a DMA mode in here which will range, have a number, perhaps from 1 to 5. The higher the number, the, the better that is. And that is all you need to do to enable DMA. Of course, if you don't have a Windows XP, the uh, way to do it may differ slightly from the one I've just shown you, but the essence should still be there. So this tutorial was brought to you by myvideoproblems.com.